from Daniel Bryan's contract with the WWE to Fox adding another show of WWE product in 2019. All of this, plus so much more, we're going to be discussing on this edition, episode two of What's Hot in the World of Professional Wrestling. First off, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for all notifications, and follow me on Facebook at 2007webby and Twitter at 2007webby. It is much appreciated by me and everybody else that makes this channel what it is for you, wrestling fans. Go and watch anything you've missed this week. Raw and SmackDown live reviews. Go and watch last week's episode of What's Hot in the World of Professional Wrestling, where I talk about WrestleMania 35 going to eight hours long, where I talk about Fox possibly <laughs> pretty much being the reason why the brand split could end because they want certain superstars to be on SmackDown. All that plus so much more on the first edition of What's Hot in the World of Professional Wrestling, Episode 1. But on this edition, we're going to dive right into July 1st, Tokyo, WWE could have a huge, massive Fatal 4-Way contest for us wrestling fans. Now, I know and I understand we're getting tired of these multi-man matches. I even, at some point, am tired of multi-man matches. However, this is one case that I will not complain. I will not. Because... It is AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Daniel Bryan. I won't complain about that contest a bit if that match comes true. That's the match that is being rumored for that July 1st show right now. If they let these four guys go out there and go balls to the wall and knock it out of the park, home run that show, Bam! I will not gripe about it one bit if they go out there and they make AJ Styles and Nakamura hold back their performance like they did at WrestleMania. I'm sure I will, and many other fans will as well complain about it. Or Samoa Joe and Daniel Bryan hold back. Kind of like they made Samoa Joe hold back during the Roman Reigns-Samoa Joe matchup at Backlash. Whatever the case, make these guys go out there and go balls to the wall. Let them be free at that Tokyo show and make it where we can see it. Put it on the network. That's one definitely I would like to see. Ty Dillinger and the Revival finally have some light in their WWE career. Now, I know we might not be able to see it on TV, but in my estimation, with this uh, rumor going on, I definitely see light in their career right now. Forget about the WWE main roster. They have put them on uh, NXT house shows. Now, some of you might say, oh, that's a demotion. Listen, if there's one thing I will say is when they were in NXT, they actually got a, a, a reaction, a big reaction, whether it was a heel reaction or a baby face reaction. Regardless, it was a, an organic, good reaction from the fans. Now, they're not getting squat. There's no reaction at all. 
There, there is nothing for Ty Dillinger and the Revival. So, being on NXT, whether it's a house shows or whether they put them all the way back in NXT, just to boost sales, they are there with people that love to see them. It is very good for Ty Dillinger and the Revival right now. Another show being added to Fox once SmackDown Live gets added to Fox's brand in 2019. Now, as we know, in October of 2019, SmackDown's leaving NBC, Universal, and going to Fox. Whether it stays on Tuesday, whether it goes to Friday, remains to be seen. What we do know is, according to this rumor, that Fox wants to use both their stations, apparently, hopefully, it looks like, and have... A, a, a talk show of some sort on Fox Sports 1 of WWE product. Now, this could mean, according to the report, that Talking Smack comes back. Now, if Talking Smack comes back, I think we're all in agreement that we want to see it organically build rivalries and superstars like it did when Daniel Bryan was the uh, general manager and, and was having that rivalry with The Miz. It uh, was flourishing and gave us a reason to tune in. And it built from Talking Smack to SmackDown Live the following week. If you're going to have something like that, Fox, WWE, do that. Don't just do um, a recap of what we saw on to that tonight's show. Because if that's the case, it's just going to be watered down and kind of boring. Feed from show to the next week. Please, Fox, make it have it do that way. Now, Daniel Bryan still has not signed the contract with the WWE. As we know, his contract ends September 1st. He's having all these great matches right now. Great matches. First time, first time, first time, first time, first time, first time, first time. I hope, I hope he signs a contract with WWE and he gets the push for the WWE Championship. Now, my guess is he's having these first time matches right now because WWE is not sure that he's going to uh, sign in for past September. So they want to uh, get all of this in so, uh, one, hopefully he'll sign. And two, if he doesn't, that way they have that in for the fans and for them. But as of right now, Daniel Bryan is still not here. Question is, if Daniel Bryan signs, how long of a contract will he sign for? Will it be a short term or will they lock him in for a, a long term deal? Remains to be seen. We'll have to see. As of right now, September 1st, D. Bryan is history, according to rumors. And finally, finally, I'm ending this week's edition of what's hot in the world of professional wrestling. Uh, David Arquette. 
<laughs> oh my. Now, I know this was a hoax. I know this was uh, ridiculous. I know this was just him talking. But this was so ridiculous. I just had to come on here and talk about it. David Arquette went on, I think it was the Wendy show or Wendy Williams show, something like that. And apparently, WCW was mentioned. And the WCW championship was mentioned. And he was talking about how it was mentioned that he damaged WCW in the championship. Which we all, for the most part, cringed over that. Be quite frank, but in his defense, he was promoting Ready to Rumble. That is what the defense was. Now he came up. He stood up. He did one of these, and he said, "He's returning." To professional wrestling. Seriously. I'm looking in rumors. And I see David R. Kett. Returning to professional wrestling. That's ridiculous. And that has to be a hoax. But as far as the other stuff is concerned, SmackDown Live, possibly having another show with it, Ty Dillinger and the Revival, showing some light now in their career. Even though it's NXT house shows, I think that's uh, some light in their career because they're back with uh, fans that really, I do believe, uh, care more about them. The WWE put them with that crowd again. Daniel Bryan hasn't signed the contract yet. And, of course, that huge matchup, July 1st, that's being talked about. AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Daniel Bryan. All of that on this edition we discussed. I hope you enjoyed the second episode of What's Hot in the World of Professional Wrestling. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. And until I see you again, this is Webby and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.